Well, let uh, let me start with remembering all those people that uh, lost their lives in 9-11. Um, you know, very personal. My neighbor, two doors down that I grew up with, passed away that day. So many, so many people that all of us knew, right? That's where we live. So, and then the people in Pittsburgh in the plane and down in Washington at the Pentagon and just everywhere. So 20 years have gone by like, like that. And uh, I thought it was really cool how both teams recognized it. And uh, we should, right? It's New York, New York and New Jersey. So uh, prayers are out to those families because just because time passes, um, that hurt still hurts every day. So our prayers from our, from our family out to theirs. Talk about the football game. Anything I can do to help you, I'll try to answer. Craig, is that uh, kind of a blueprint in a lot of ways of defense, you know, winning defense, special teams, uh, does its job for most of the day. Offense doesn't commit a turnover. All the things that you really need to see to win a game. Yes, Sergeant. I think that's a well put. I think here's the, here's the thing. We knew this was going to be a grimy, tough, gritty game. That, I mean, that's what it was going to be. They have really talented front people. I mean, they're big, they're strong, they're long, and uh, they have a scheme that's very, very hard to to prepare for unless you're an elite group. And we're not there yet offensively. I thought defensively we played really well. I mean, those guys kept answering the bell. Uh, I did not think our special teams were particularly good. Uh, we've played, we can play much better than that on special teams. We made mistakes. Now there was some really great punting. Again, I mean, he is he's phenomenal, right? Um, I think he had four punts, three of them inside the 20, a 50-yard average. I mean, he's, he's special. Um, and he changes the field position several times in that game. So uh, we're very fortunate there. But overall, we, we did not capitalize on some of the things that I felt we could on special teams. And obviously on offense, we, you know, we have work to do. And, you know, again, defense played well. But you know how it is. You're as good as your last performance. So we'll, we'll, we need to get better as a team. But again, like I said last week, it's nice to do it from the W column. What's What's the the offensive problems are just blocking the you know, without looking at it, I would say a lot because we, we saw too many guys flash in the backfield. Um, but we had some other thing. You know, sometimes the guy doesn't do the right thing at receiver or maybe the back takes the wrong angle. But I just felt like there was too much penetration. Now, they do some things that are difficult. I'm not denying that. I, my hat's off to Syracuse and their defense. But uh, we need to do a better job up front for sure, and we will. What about that defense makes it difficult? Yeah, they're they're different than some. You know, some three three fives are more static. They're continuously stunting and moving, and you know, you live by the sword and you die by the sword. You do that. We didn't make them die by the sword very much, right? In the run game, and I, I was hoping we could. I was hoping we would pop a few of those, and they'd come creasing out. But you know what? Uh, Kyle came in and helped. Then Pop came back in and ended the game the way you needed to end the game. And I think we just we, we have some work to do. We, we, these guys, our coaches, know how to get that thing going. We'll, we'll get it going. Unsportsmanlike call on Coach Babers that led to seven points. Can you empathize as a coach? You know, arguing your case and then getting a flag. Going? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see it. I don't know how it how it happened. But you know, I know that's one of the points of emphasis this year is is coaches. I had my own issues, so. Um, Ah, oh, doesn't matter. I, I don't. I don't. You know what? They, those. I've often said this. I made more mistakes today. You know, I was so mad at myself the way I coached, and so who am I to think that these officials? I mean, they're going to make mistakes too. We all make mistakes. Uh, it's just in the heat of the battle you get upset, and um, when you think that you were wronged. But um, look, everybody's got a job to do. We're all trying to do it. I thought the officials really did a pretty good job. It's just a. It's a grimy game, right? It was, it was tough. I thought we handled it well, right? I think we, we, we hit adversity several times, right? And there's two kinds of adversity. Everything's rolling downhill on you, or you do something well and you don't capitalize on it. We had some field position today that, you know, you should capitalize on, and we didn't. And rather than sit there and lament about, oh, we didn't do that, or we blocked a punt, we didn't score, they just came out and played. And that's, that's what chopping is. You know, it was a 60-minute chop, and, you know, again, we take care of the football when you – when you don't turn it over, 
it gives you a chance to win. And we, did, we didn't turn it over, and we took it away three times, and we blocked a punt. That's the game. Is this the kind of game you expect against Syracuse's defense? What they, did they bring anything to surprise you, or did you expect this? No, we ex- that was what we expected, but they did it very well. I mean, they did a lot of the, what they had been doing. They changed a little bit, but not much. But they did it very well. And, and there were certain things we thought we could take advantage of, and we didn't for what, a lot of different reasons. And we have to, you know, when you put together a game plan and you say, look, these are the areas that we have a chance to exploit, and we don't, well, then you live, you live with it. Greg, uh, Noah's performance? I thought he did a heck of a job. I think he was 22 of 28, took care of the football, you know, made plays when he had the chance. I thought he threw the one ball. I thought we had a long ball. I thought it was going to be a touchdown. So I, I actually thought Noah did exactly what he needed to do. He needed to come here and play a clean game. And he really, he really did do that. He got us in and out of the right calls. Um, I was pleased with his performance. Is Kyle uh, getting some more trust as like maybe a, you know, a running back is going to get more of a piece of the pie, you know, that he touched down and kind of showed you something? Yeah, I, I, you know, like I told you, I thought he's had a good spring and a good camp. So I've trust, I trust him. He works so darn hard. I trust Pop and I trust Aaron. I mean, I think, like I told you, I think we have a really good room and we're going to use all of them. And when somebody gets hot, we may run them a little longer, right? But you saw, like, Pop, for whatever reason, one hit, and all of a sudden he went back in and he just, I mean, he finished the game the way you're supposed to finish it. And he did some things in protection and when, we, then he, when he got back in, that was really good. So, you know, we got, we're blessed with that. We have a really good room. we got to make sure we use them, all of them, at what they do best. Greg, that sequence after you missed the field goal when you come right back and take the ball away, how important was that? That's, that's what I meant about like missed opportunities, right? That sometimes can send you into the tank and, and our defense just stepped up and took the ball away, like, which is, you know, that's how you do it. I mean, that's how you win on the road. You don't give it away and you take it away because it's hard. And then, you, you know, the punting is such a big thing. I can't emphasize enough how he changes field position for us. I saw, you, did have, you did have some great field position. So do you lament the fact that your offense couldn't take advantage of that? Is that something that you could work on or? Well, certainly. I mean, that's what I was saying. That that I'm pleased the way we responded, but we we need to capitalize when we have short fields like that. And we don't take advantage of it. You know, you can't do that. You got to take advantage of it. That has been so good for so long. But are you ever just surprised when I mean, won the 59 yarder that just was really good and rolled to the half? Are you ever just mystified at watching? It's like watching a really really fine golfer, right? Like he puts the ball right where he wants it. It's uh, it's something. And, he, and he's such a fun guy to be around in addition to it. So he's a great player, and he's a really a fine person. So you, you root for those guys. I saw Felter at left guard for, for a pretty big stretch, and then Holland Pierce at right tackle. Is missing matching that offensive line, or is the Pierce go ahead of Wardner at right tackle? Well, we actually started Holland today. It's, it was close, but we felt like he deserved the chance to get the start because, again, we're searching to find the best mix. And I told you guys, we're not afraid to play more than five. You know, some teams won't do that. We will. Um, we got to find the right mix. And it might be seven or eight guys in that mix. That's fine. We're good with that. Greg, big picture coming in here, Syracuse beat an old rival. How important does that to you to what you're trying to build? Yeah, I think it was important, right? Like, we need to come out here and establish that we go on the road and we win. And whether it's Syracuse or wherever else, that's not important to me. But the fact that we went on the road and found a way to win, well, maybe we didn't play our best football. But, again, i, I got to keep saying this. My hat's off to Syracuse. I thought they played really well defensively. And, uh, you know, I thought, I thought offensively they presented some issues, but our guys made some plays. So uh, it's a well-coached football team. Um, we're fortunate to, to win on the road like that and get out of here and get back to New Jersey. Yeah, we, we'd like to do that. Uh, I know that, um, you know, there was, I think we ended up with 14 names on the helmet because we had to make sure we got permission from the survivors. Um, but for certain, I'd like to get them in their hands, you know, and uh, what, a neat, what a neat thing for them to have as a family. I think that'll be really cool. And then what we do with the, with, uh, the, guy, the people we didn't get a hold of, maybe if they reach out, we can get them in their hands as well. And add the st- you know we can make the stickers and put their name on that helmet, but uh, I thought it was a, I thought our, our equipment staff did a really good job along with Adidas. They worked together and they did this and you know obviously it takes a long time to get it right. You start in the spring, 
putting it together, and I was really pleased with uh, Mike Kuzniak and the whole staff doing that. That was uh, a nice touch, really nice touch, and I think a really good tribute. Um, and again, like I said, we are, you know, I told you, the smoke was on the horizon from our practice field. I mean, that's, that's it. Hey, you were there. What am I telling you? All right, guys, thank you. Thank you.